Man, thanks for all the inspiration for real, man. This is this this is not an easy job, man. This is the the hardest job in the world is to make niggas laugh. And I appreciate you for that. I know damn well y'all can clap better than that. Y'all make some noise for Ron and Don. Yeah. Uh, clapping all conservative, man. This is a comedy special, goddammit. Make sure y'all get y'all drinks and all that. Make sure y'all follow all the comics that y'all got coming up here. You know what I'm saying? And make sure y'all keep the, the table talk to a minimum. You get what I'm saying? Y'all make some noise if you've been to a comedy show before. Okay, so y'all know the rules. Y'all know the rules. There ain't no rules. Let me <laughs> it ain't no rules. It ain't no rules. But tonight is about Jet Wilson, man. So y'all make some noise for Jet Wilson right now. He ain't coming out yet, but later on y'all gonna see him. <laughs> they were like, where Jet at, Jet? They looking for you, Jet? Yeah. For real, for real, man. Y'all gonna get to know a lot of mental issues are going on in comedians' heads, and that's what we do. We make the shit funny. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, everybody got a comedian in their family, and every time they come around y'all, y'all always say the same bullshit. You should do comedy. <laughs> y'all know y'all got that, cu that cousin talking about, oh, yeah, you should get up there and be funny. Yeah, yeah. Some of us took that leap and got up on there and did our shit. You feel me? You damn right, you damn right. Yeah, we got some beautiful women in here. Y'all make some noise for y'all self. There's more y'all in here too, unless y'all got something y'all want to tell me. <laughs> women be goddamn holding they goddamn like, mm -hmm. woo woo. <laughs> we just gonna say what we feel like saying. Goddamn assholes. Y'all women know y'all some assholes. <laughs> Look, a chick just rolled her eyes at me. I see your ass. She like, whatever. I think y'all learned that shit at a young age. Let me just, oh, whatever. Anyway. Y'all learn them three words first, don't y'all? Whatever. Anyway. Y'all dodge everybody except for the wrong dude, huh? Don't you? <laughs> Damn near every chick in here got a, ho a horrible baby daddy, don't it? I can't stand him. Make some noise you don't like your baby daddy. You see what I'm talking about? Horrible decisions. Horrible decisions. Y'all chose a horrible dude. He wasn't horrible when he was stroking you between your legs, kissing you in the mouth, was he? <laughs> he wasn't that horrible, was he? <laughs> nigga, nigga, you putting grease on his back. Y'all was in there greasing in the mug getting down, weren't y'all? Ah, ah, y'all getting down. Ah, yep, y'all remember them sounds. Them shits produced the baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he got it, he got it, he got the baby out your ass. You know how, you know, you know how much somebody got to fuck you to get a baby about you? And you always hear the same shit every time. It went like that. Yes, it was. I think it was dropping it in you. Yeah. <laughs> you had your eyes closed and everything. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Don't act like his dick ain't shit now. Yeah, yeah. Come on, you know baby daddy, hey, baby daddy was putting it on you, wasn't he? Yeah, she, look, 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 shit. She just saying that because she with a new dude, y'all. <laughs> if she was she with a new dude. I'm sorry, bro, I just got to expose it. She just with a new dude. Now, I ain't finna tell him how he hit it from another room. She ain't finna. Yeah, y'all ain't catch that one right there. <laughs> Nigga hit it from another room like, I'll be in there in a second. Ugh. Yeah. You don't like your baby daddy like that? Oh, shit. This nigga really fucked up. He fucked your... He, you tried to let him flip your taxes, right? <laughs> he said, let me get the taxes, baby. I know I can flip these. I'm telling you, I'm going to bring you... You got 5000 I'm telling you, I'm going to bring you 15000 back. And he never came back, did he? <laughs> that nigga still running this shit. We need child support. Never gonna get it, never gonna get it. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's hard to get child support out of a nigga you don't even know his whole fucking name. 
My homegirl came to me and told me she, to help her find her baby daddy. I said, what's his name? She was like, his name is Man Man. I said, what? Man Man? Like, bitch, I don't know how the fuck we going to find Do Man Man got a social security number? I don't know. He was in the trap. I'm like, damn. You might well charge that one to the game, bitch. You ain't getting that child support. <laughs> I'll help you with little Man Man Jr., bitch. <laughs> we'll take care of little Man Man Jr., bitch. I'll take the nigga to the park sometime or something. Be his little step-uncle or something, whatever. You know. All that. We got, we got to help these women raise these kids when they make these horrible decisions. <laughs> I'm dead ass serious. Shit, we got to. I did it. I did some crazy ass shit. My homegirl, her, uh, her son, well, her, no, her daughter was going to the, uh, her, her daughter was going to the prom one time. Yeah, she was going to the prom. I was like, yeah. She said, hey, look here. I want you to be her daddy for one night because she ain't got no daddy. I said, I got this shit. I'm a real man. I'll tell you, hey, I got you. Don't even worry about it. Whoever this little knucklehead, she going, I got, I'm, I'm going to be your dad. I'll be her daddy. But I ain't know that it was one of them little Percocet gangsters. <laughs> Y'all know them little niggas with the little pants right here, them niggas always skinny and shit, be cussing people out for no reason. Goddamn, get the fuck out of my goddamn stupid ass face. Why, what? Stupid ass, goddamn. Them niggas be, ugh, they be always itching and shit. <laughs> they be, ah, uh, goddamn, shit, goddamn, you already know what the fuck going on. They be doing shit like that all the time. <laughs> nigga didn't even have on a tuxedo. That nigga had on a shirt that had a tie on it. I was like, what type of shit is this? <laughs> nigga came up there. I said, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to still be a real man and handle this whole situation. Little, let's see, little dude came up to the door. Didn't even knock. He just opened the door. Walked in there and shit. This nigga had the pistol on him. I was like, oh, shit. <clears throat> I said, I'm still going through with this shit. I said, guess what? I got something to say. Let me holler at you for a second. You're going to be taking my daughter out. I said, look here. You're going to take her out, and whatever you do to my daughter, I'm going to do to you. I just had to tell him. He looked me dead in my eyes. He was like, I guess we fucking did, pops. <laughs> uh, uh, first of all, I got my own kids. And I ain't trying to die for that. Look here, man. Her mama's a hoe, too. So, like, look, I gave the nigga some condoms. Like, hey, man, just don't get her pregnant. He was like, he, that nigga took the condoms and threw them at the wall. Psh, nope. <laughs> Not using them. I was like, you know what? Have her home by 12. <laughs> she just had a beautiful baby boy, by the way. Bad decisions, goddammit. Bad decisions. <laughs> Stop making bad decisions. Yeah, yeah, man. But uh, yeah, y'all having a good time though, man. Y'all ordering y'all food. Y'all got y'all drinks and stuff. Y'all tipping the waitresses and all that, man. Listen here, we're gonna have a good time, right? I think I'm gonna go ahead and bring the first comic up. Y'all ready for the first comedian? No, 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 no. That ain't good enough. I said, are y'all ready for y'all first comedian? <laughs> Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Coming to the stage, right? One of my sisters in comedy, you know what I'm saying? She does, she does it all. She's a jack of all trades, acting, skits, you name it, she do it. She run businesses, she got them headlines. She did a comedy special, it's out on Amazon, Tubi, you name it, it's out there, man. Y'all make some noise for my homegirl, comedian Duchess. I'm just trying to be y'all like a B out here, so thank me for my service. Invited her to the VIP, she with it, but she nervous. She got the same effect on me, I'm sweat like Michael Irvin. She just the way y'all like my piece, love she was encouraged. Nothing like them suckers in the DMG. What's up? Party emojis and kissing faces, they really You can cut it, DJ, you can cut it. As you already know, it's hell of a goddamn comedians in here. How y'all feeling? Y'all look good, just like I do in my little body suit, bitch. You shake one leg when you got a nice ass body suit on. You hear me? <laughs> you ain't gotta do both, bitch. You can do one. A motherfucker still gonna pay attention, bitch. It's a nice ass little body suit that you keep having to pull that bitch up. You hear me? That motherfucker, you still gotta pull that little hoe up. That's that beauty supply special. You hear me? That's how you get your beauty supply special on. 
knowing damn well this bitch was 999. Give it up for y'all hoes out here with the 999 on today. <laughs> Don't let me point you hoes out. I know. I know a damn 999 outfit when I see one. Them bitches come in handy, don't get me wrong, for real. When you ain't got shit to wear, you be like, bitch, I only got 10, bitch, it's gonna work, it's gonna work. This is definitely gonna work. We gonna have a good time. And look, um, I wanna be real with y'all. I, I, I wanna be real with y'all. Um, my husband and I went on a trip over the New Year's. Happy New Year's to everybody, everybody. Happy New Year's, Happy New Year's. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year's. My husband was out there, we was all out there in Orlando having a good time, don't get me wrong. But my husband was doing white people shit, you know what I mean? I'm not lying, he was, he was doing white people shit like holding a rail, you know what I'm saying? Eating popcorn, licking his fingers. I'm like, nigga, we are at an amusement park. <laughs> this nigga gonna look at me and say, I'm from the 70s, man, I don't worry about no germs. Nigga, you are from 79, my nigga, you don't... You are from 79. You don't know shit about the fucking 70s. You live the 80s, nigga. That nigga get home, G. That nigga get home, and guess what the fuck happened? He gets sick. And anybody in here, if you got a man and that nigga gets sick, he act like a total bitch. You hear me? A bitch. You hear me? If you ain't never seen a bitch-ass nigga, get that nigga sick. You hear me? Get that nigga sick. The bitch come all the way out that nigga. That nigga be like, ah. I can't wait. I'm hot. I'm cold. I'm... Nigga moaning in his sleep. Uh, uh. I'm like, shut the fuck up, nigga. <laughs> fuck, shut the fuck up. Because <laughs> us women, think about it. Us women, every time we get sick, do we, I mean, do we get any fucking sympathy? We still got to wake them kids up. We still got to fucking cook. We still got to go to work. You hear me? The fuck, this nigga wanna whine, bitch, that's so okay. We still got the fuck, you hear me, nigga? Nigga be saying some dumb ass shit to me, man, I wanna <laughs> get some of that hot pocket you got. You, you says you got a fever of 102, let me see what that pussy feel like in 102, yeah. Let me see what that pussy feel like 102. And our dumb sick ass still be like, okay. <laughs> Let me see what it feel like to get fucked on the other than two. <laughs> nigga don't get no fuck. We ain't do it. But a nigga, that nigga don't want to do shit. Like nothing. He was crying like a little bitch, I promise you. And I told that nigga just like he told me. Uh, let me get some of that um, hot head. <laughs> I ain't never had 105 hot head before. <laughs> Bitch, I promise you, if you ever get a nigga to eat your pussy and he got a fever, you will never want it another way. My name Duchess, y'all. I appreciate y'all time. Y'all look me up on Prime Video. It's from the Manor to Atlanta, Chicago, bound all day. Thank you, Team Duchess on Instagram, Comedian Duchess on Facebook. I Thank y'all. Give it I'm up, y'all. Like for my service. Invited her to the VIP. She with it, but she nervous. She got the same effect on me. I'm sweating like Michael Irvin. She just the way I like my peace. Love she was incurred. Nothing like them suckers in her DM. She be curved. Yeah, make some motherfuckers noise. Make really some noise for Dutchy. Come on now. Get your goddamn phone. Get, get your goddamn phone out there. <laughs> One thing you don't want to want to be around a woman's phone. <laughs> Don't go on that woman's phone. Leave that woman's phone alone. Go in Dr. King mode on y'all. Leave her phone alone. Leave her phone alone. Oh, leave her phone alone. <laughs> you don't want to see all different types of dick pics and every nigga trying to eat her booty. <laughs> I know them niggas be, listen, them motherfuckers make it hard for niggas out here. Every nigga in there, hey, I'll eat your ass and pay your bills. <laughs> <laughs> he lying to you. Uh, damn, he lying to you. Did y'all enjoy Duchess? Yeah, make some noise, make some noise, man. Yeah. Uh, met this dude backstage, man. He was goddamn, you know. Uh, listen, I know the I know the dude funny just because of what he was saying to me in the back. You get what I'm saying? So I'm vouching for this dude, man. When he come up here, man, he gonna make y'all laugh like a mother. Y'all ready for the next comedian? Y'all, I'm not finna bring him up here with that little bit of energy. Are y'all ready for the next guy to come up here? Yeah.
God damn, I oh, the, oh shit, y'all ripped my heart out. Hey, y'all give it up for my boy Chris Pugh. Get out of my face, 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 my face, get out of my face. I'm rolling down my window so I can feel the wind blowing. Don't want no be no pinto. I'm on that green ATL, ATL, what's up? How y'all doing? Come on, y'all. Come on, come on. Listen, man. Y'all gonna have a good time tonight or what? Y'all ready to have a good time? Can we get some energy, man? Make some love if you make some noise if you love yourself. How about that? That's what the hell I'm talking about. We still, some of us still thinking about it. I got you. All right, all my couples in here, man. I want to tell y'all something right now. All my couples in here, raise your hand if you're in a, in a relationship. All right, let's do something right now, man. Uh, I don't know if y'all know about this about me, but uh, I'm also a, a marriage therapist. And uh, I'm seeing a lot, man. I work in the school system too, man. And one of the biggest things we got to do is get our families back. Can y'all agree with that? A lot of our kids, they're trying to make it through this world, but they don't have no stable household. Y'all understand what I'm saying? And a lot of people are, are procreating with people they really don't know. So every time I see a couple, I wish none but positivity and success on each and every one of you. Real talk. But when we start praying for our couples, man, we got to start praying for stuff that really, really matter. And one of my prayers from all my couples, I wish from this day forward that y'all always horn at the same time. <laughs> Prayers matter. You got to be accurate. Y'all understand what I'm saying? We be asking for happiness and peace. I need y'all to be horny at the same time. Ain't nothing more annoying than you horning the other person injured. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Like, everybody got bad. Like, y'all horny all the time, but y'all never horny at the same time. It's little stuff like that, man. So right now, if you on a date tonight, let's get this awkward shit out of the way. Look at each other real quick. Look at each other real quick. Ladies, just look at them and say, you getting some tonight. Y'all understand what I'm saying? It's too many awkward dates. I don't want y'all wondering. You see how you're wondering? He be like, I wonder if I ordered enough. You did. Ma'am, tell him. Get that shit out the way. It's too much awkward stuff going on in our relationships. Y'all understand what I'm saying? It's 2024. If you cheating, do it better, okay? <laughs> it's too much disrespect for cheating in America, and it's too dangerous because we're not wrapped too tight. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Y'all remember the good old days where you could cheat at home? <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. You remember in the 80s, you just didn't give a damn. <laughs> you just come on to the house, you got a different color hair texture laid right on a pillow. Y'all remember them old days? 2024, 20, you're going to be on the news doing that shit. Take that shit away from the neighborhood. Fuck it. Take a flight and cheat now. It's too much at home cheating. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? If you can't be monogamous, be intelligent, because some of y'all cheat. <laughs> Shit, it's too much dumb. Y'all ever had friends that cheat dumb? And, you be, and they be like, dang, I messed up my relationship. You be like, show me the pictures. They be like, here she go. I'm be like, not the Doberman there. What, what, where the woman at? <laughs> Listen, if you have to mess up your relationship, fuck up, okay? Fuck up. Fuck somebody who's going to embarrass the person you with. And when they see them, you be like, I understand. You were supposed to fuck that person. <laughs> that nigga is rich, and he speaks four languages? <laughs> oh, lie, my nigga. <laughs> like, Y'all understand what I'm saying? We got to stop disrespecting each other. Cheat better. Cheat with intelligence. Y'all understand what I'm saying? If you do drugs, I don't judge you. Y'all understand, life been hard. If you do drugs, do your drugs. Okay? Do them. Do them shits. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not telling you to do them. I'm just saying when you do them, I'm going to be like, bet. <laughs> You know, you know, life done got so hard, you don't mind somebody just getting high as shit in front of you? Man, 2023 was a piece of shit. And I had a homeboy who did a line of coke at a Longhorn. I was like, 
Let me get some honey butter. <laughs> no, you missed the corner, my nigga. Go ahead. There you go, boy. There you go. Snort that shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm a supportive friend. You understand what I'm saying? I'm just one of them people. I need y'all to understand this, too. Like, uh, I am one of them people that when you offer me drugs, they get awkward. I don't judge you, but I'm not finna act like I ain't been watching y'all for the past hour and a half. Fuck your life up. And then be like, you want to join? I'm mean, like, I mean, like, life is already fucked up. I don't need no help. You know what I mean? How many of y'all got too much of a vivid imagination to be high? Yeah, I'm too scared of shit helping me think the way I already think. You understand what I'm saying? You know what's really goddamn dangerous? The number one reason why I don't smoke weed is not because I'm a good person. Is I don't need help with the munchies, nigga. Do y'all have y'all... Listen, I've been around people that smoke weed and they love snacks and random dinner shits, food that don't match. Y'all understand what I'm saying? High food, you know what I'm saying? Macaroni and cheese, ribs, and cotton candy, them niggas. You understand what I'm saying? And then they be like, hey, man, you don't want none of this? I be like, look, I'm going to just be honest with you. I got a head start on that munchy shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like 30 years, light years above you niggas. I already got my star crunch in the car. Y'all remember them star crunches from back in the day? <laughs> now, I ain't going to lie to you, man. I'm going to tell you how them old school snacks used to be. We don't know what's in that shit, and we don't care. It's a star crunch. It's a chewy, gooey, crunchy, warm, and cold snack, nigga. <laughs> I can't explain that shit, and you can't tell me somebody high didn't make a star crunch. That nigga made a chicken burger. <laughs> <laughs> As a goddamn, I'm telling you, man, I, some of y'all remember them snacks y'all was addicted to back in the day. I ain't the only one. Y'all judging this shit. I ain't the only one. Some of y'all had a mom that was a team mom for your baseball team, wasn't she? Yeah, I put mom out of business, though, by mistake. You ever had your mom in charge of the candy and everybody wonder what the fuck happened? And I'm coming out the closet sweating like a motherfucker, full of shit. <laughs> Hell yeah, I understand what it is. I will tell y'all this, too. I want y'all to be honest with yourself, man. Uh, I know people want to look out for each other, and I understand it's a lot of people in here tonight have offered me things, man, because you're in the goodness of your heart and everything, and it's a beautiful thing to do that. You don't even know me, and people just offer me things, right? And I need y'all to understand this, too. Uh, certain shit you offer, uh, make sure ain't nobody else listening, because sometimes that shit be funny. I had somebody come up to me, and you're like, big man. I really respect what you do. And I'll be like, that's amazing because you don't even know what I do yet. But that's how I go. And he said, you know what? I got you. Don't even worry about it. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? I can help you meet your weight loss goals. <laughs> and little do he know, I just lost 70 pounds. <laughs> I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And I want y'all to be very careful clapping for me because I just gained the 80 back. So... <laughs> I'm one of the people that don't take clauses that well. I be celebrating this shit. <laughs> like, I celebrate in training camp. Fuck the regular season. I be like, you know what? I did eat that salad the other day. I did do this shit. Y'all ever be eating and you being good and all of a sudden you be like, I do deserve four steaks in 20 minutes. <laughs> don't nobody think about this shit? I do. I'm going to leave you out with this. Uh, I am not a judgmental person, like I said before, but I am a marriage therapist. And by no means, I know some of y'all thinking, but I'm going to go ahead and, you know, let you know up front, I do not have a modeling contract. I've never modeled a day in my life. That's too hard to laugh. <laughs> uh, but I real want, I want everybody to know this as, as I get off stage. Humbly, I'm going to ask everybody in the room to do this. Make sure you know what you look like naked. That's awkward, ain't it? I ain't saying look good or bad. I'm just saying make sure you know what you're offering people. <laughs> Is that fair? Is it fair? I ain't saying you got to be big. I ain't saying you got to be small. I ain't saying you got to be short. I ain't saying you got to be tall. But I tell you this, do not walk to the bed fast if you don't know what you look like. Now, I ain't going to lie to you. I go out on dates all the time, man. I had to tell the lady, and she we on the phone. Y'all remember the chat line from back in the day? You had to describe yourself? 
I don't do that lying shit, ladies. I ain't gonna lie to you. I fuck up romance like hell. I just be like, you ready? They be like, what you look like? I said, well, we're going to get to the face in a minute. But you got to know some shit. <laughs> she said, what's up? I said, I got one of them bodies you got to explain. <laughs> she said, go ahead. Fuck it. I'm ready. I said, we'll see, bitch. <laughs> and they be real confident and stuff, right? And she said, go ahead. Lay it on me. I said, I will eventually. <laughs> you have no idea. I said, she was like, go ahead. I ain't scared. I said, bet. Here we go. You ready? She said, I'm ready. She said, and I said, look, I don't know if you're ready for this, but when I lay on my side, my nipples touch. Now, if all of y'all have a mental picture in your, I didn't tell you to do that shit. <laughs> hey. Last but not least, man, know what you sound like when you're making love. Is that fair? Know what you sound like when you're making love, okay? Some of us, we need to record this stuff. When you're really happy, especially if you've been waiting on sex for a while, go ahead and hit record up under the mattress. And then listen to yourself the next morning, okay? Now, I'm not one of the people that make noises, but I found out what I do during sex, and it's kind of weird. I just do a whole bunch of agreeing. Anybody else do that shit? You just be agreeing with shit? Y'all don't do that? All of a sudden, you be in the middle, you like, uh-huh. <laughs> yep. 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 Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's my time, man. I'm Big Chris, man. I'll holler at y'all. Appreciate it. Get out of my face. 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 My face. Get out of my face. I'm broke. Y'all give it up for Chris Pugh. <laughs> Sound like one of them nighttime motherfuckers. Y'all give it up for Ned. Chris Pugh. One more time. Let me try that one more time. Y'all give it up. For God damn it, I ain't going to do y'all. <laughs> I'm like, this shit is kind of fun. Hold on. Y'all give it up for me. <laughs> give it up for, uh, I ain't got nobody else. <laughs> That's it, y'all. Let me stop. Y'all having a good time, though? Yeah. Y'all having a real good time, man. All I know is that if you came with your girl, you're getting something tonight. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Y'all want to clap for that, God damn it? Look, I'm look, 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 don't do him like that. He getting some. He getting some. <laughs> I'm going to make sure I'm going to hit him up. Be like, she gave you some. He'll be like, man, nah, put her on the phone. Get that nigga some. He on Pornhub right now. <laughs> nigga be like, ah, you want to act like that. All right. I got some for your head. Nigga be mad as hell going through that roller. They're like, all right, okay, all right, oh yeah, uh-huh. I'm finna watch them, I'm finna watch them bad-ass midgets. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga be having them weird-ass goddamn porn categories. You want to know a person, look at their porn categories. Who in here with their partner right now? What's up with, yeah, your porn category. What, 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 what? <laughs> look, she got her eyes closed and shit. <laughs> Amputee porn? What the fuck is you doing watching niggas with one leg and shit? Nigga, <laughs> nigga coming up, I'ma fuck the shit out this motherfucker, bitch. Well, you got me fucked up. I'ma fuck the shit out this motherfucker. I seen some amputee porn, got <laughs> Nigga had one arm, he tried to slap the bitch ass and miss. <laughs> I said, damn, man, that nigga came up short. <laughs> Shit, I did so well. <laughs> Try to hit her in the ass with the elbow. That shit ain't gonna work. <laughs> yeah, y'all having a good time though? Yeah. I know I asked y'all that a million times. That that's what they told me to do as a host. He's like, ask me if they having a good time. I was like, is y'all having a good time? <laughs> what about you? How about you? <laughs> For real, for real, man. <laughs> 
God damn, man. I keep on bringing up Dr. King. Dr. King Day is coming up. I have a dream. Damn right, boy. Dr. King, Dr. King. And they don't make them like Dr. King no more, but give it up for Coretta Scott King, too, man. Yeah, behind every good, behind every good man is a good woman. Yeah, they say, always, oh, shit. Look, no feminists, okay? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> All you feminists, get the fuck out of here. I can't stand goddamn feminists. Hate the motherfucker. We don't need a man for nothing. But he better pump this gas. Bitch, you got me fucked up. I'm finna pump no gas for no feminists. <laughs> finna pump no gas for no fucking feminists, man. For real. You ever dated a feminist before? For real, man. They act, they act crazy until you put the dick up in them. Once you put the dick up in them, they be like, fuck these bitches. <laughs> fuck all of them. That's how they be. Look, you ain't no feminist. You know y'all be some fake-ass feminists and shit, too. Y'all be fake as hell. I hate men. Yeah, okay. <laughs> shit, you ain't never seen the motherfucker go see no female mechanic, have you? Bitch, can't you can't you can't go see a female mechanic. Yep. But anyway, man, look here. We about to get to the meat of the show, the real the, the show that y'all came for, right? Yeah. I'm about to bring y'all feature act up here. Yeah, y'all feature act. Y'all ready for y'all feature act? Let me hear y'all say. Hell yeah, we ready for that feature. Yeah, man. It's a beautiful lady by the name of, I ain't going to tell y'all yet. I'm going to tell y'all about her right quick, right? She is the anchor of Miami, Florida. Yeah, where my Florida people at? Make some noise. Florida, where y'all at? All right, all right. Look, to get some more people. Hey, make some noise if y'all like Luke. Somebody popping some balls out there, Coochie. But anyway, y'all make some noise for the feature act coming to up here, man. And she is funny as, as hell, man. Y'all make sure y'all show us some love. She is from Miami, Florida. Here's your feature act, Miss Untouchable. I'm just trying to be y'all like a be out here, so thank me for my service. Invited her to the VIP, she with it, but she nervous. She got the same effect on me, I'm sweat like Michael Irvin. She just the way I like my peace, but yeah. she was incurred. Nothing like them suckers yeah. in her bed, she be curved. You can kill Party. that shit, DJ, we gonna jump right into it. How y'all doing tonight? Yeah. Right. Y'all give it up for me, I'm going through a breakup and shit, y'all. Uh, love. Girl, don't be sad, I'm fuck, nigga, freak, bitch. What? <laughs> Shit. Had to get them out of there. I'm single because of women's intuition. How many ladies believe in women's intuition? Where y'all at? Women's intuition? <laughs> right. Women's intuition is very fucking real. Very real. The only fucked up part about women's intuition is this a strong, powerful emotion and the shit just take over our body. And the fucked up part about it is we never know when the shit gonna hit our ass. Bitch, we'll be doing something, minding our business, cleaning up. All of a sudden, something to say. Bitch, start crying. <laughs> that shit be like, what's wrong? Nah, bitch, start breaking his shit. What the fuck? <laughs> that shit be like, you know what, bitch? You ain't never like his mama, bitch. <laughs> Look at the ladies. Because ladies clap it up if the most disrespectful man is always a mama's boy. You ever notice that shit? Disrespectful, but he loved his mama though, right? I find it weird, cause I'm like, why you gonna come for me when I know you got a weak spot, motherfucker? Cause soon as he say something about me, what I'ma say? Your mama. Your mama, bitch. <laughs> what? We got to argue, and that boy was like, you know what? I ain't gonna argue with you, cause you acting like a bitch. I said a bitch? <laughs> you know who a bitch? <laughs> Yo mama, bitch. Hey, he went past that. He got all the way disrespectful because you know they get real disrespectful. That boy was like, you know what? I ain't going to argue with you. I heard you was a little hoe in these streets. I heard you was out here sucking dicks. I said, oh, sucking dicks. You know who be sucking dicks, bitch. Yo mama, and that's how I became single, because men don't like that your mama shit. They don't, hey, you see all the ladies laughing like, ah! The niggas like, disrespectful ass bitch. 
the nigga like that shit ain't funny. Look, you love your look, uh, yeah, yeah, you, 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 you love your mama, don't you, huh? Bet you disrespectful as a motherfucker. That's why he ain't disrespectful. She like, nah, bitch, you in the front row with me, bitch. You ain't gonna be disrespectful. <laughs> Cause ladies, when I was in a relationship, I felt younger than a motherfucker. I was working out, doing my shit, felt young. When I got out of the relationship, I realized. I'm older than a motherfucker, man. <laughs> and you know who let you know you old? It's these little young niggas in the street. That's who let you know you motherfucking old. And the fucked up part is, they don't mean no harm because they actually be kind of attracted to you and shit. So that hurt your feelings even more because he don't mean no harm. Man, I went out with my best shit on. Little fuck nigga broke my heart with two words. Fuck nigga walked up to me and said, Hey, auntie. <laughs> trying to see what's up auntie <laughs> I'm like I'm not your motherfucking auntie nigga I say what the fuck is a uh, auntie he was like nah see a uh, auntie is like you like still young enough to take a beat but then you like old enough to give a nigga like some stock advice or some shit like that I was like you right nigga be to my house at 8 o'clock stay away from that crypto shit nigga <laughs> Because I realize I'm not young no more. Ladies, clap it up if y'all don't finally realize. Y'all done gave it up. Clap it up. You don't realize you ain't young no more. Shit you used to do. Can't do it no more. Shit. Hey, I remember when I was young, a nigga could call me and say, I'm 15 minutes away. I'm about to pull the fuck up on you. I'm about to beat your back in, bitch. And I could be ready in 15 fucking minutes. Remember that shit? Remember the stomach was flat so you could see the pussy? Like, you could see the shit. So if he call you in 15 minutes, you could hold your leg up in the shower and just hit that bitch, wop, wop, bitch, with a razor, and you good. Bitch, nah, not no more. Bitch, I got to do this shit where you put the leg up on the motherfucking thing. That's me doing, trying to do this shit. <laughs> but now I done, I done had, like, two C-sections and shit, so now the pussy got, like, a little hot top fade on it and shit. <laughs> I'm trying to hit the motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> but shit, listen, the hardest part, ladies, about being single is finding a dick you like. Ladies, clap it up if you found a dick you like. You ain't here, look. Clap it up. Look. Don't, don't clap with him. Just cause <laughs> he too cocky. He looked over her, at her like, bitch, you better clap, bitch. <laughs> Fuck you sitting there for, you better clap, bitch. <laughs> She's sitting there like, right, right. Cause it's hard to find a man with good dicks cause we run into them little dicks ladies, right? Y'all remember them, them little dicks. I don't tolerate little dicks, but I'm nice to guys with little dicks. So guys in the building, if you got a little dick, stand up and clap your hands so we can appreciate you in the building. Nobody, <laughs> nobody, <laughs> nobody. Oh, okay, everybody, okay. <laughs> Niggas sitting on their hands, bitch. <laughs> Cause it's hard to tell a man he got a little dick It's hard to tell a man he got a little dick You don't want to fuck up the vibe Maybe like a bill do or some shit You know you don't, you don't really want to fuck up the vibe and shit So ladies this is what I developed for us right I developed this chart right And the chart going to a room right And basically the chart let a nigga know What the fuck he qualified for And what he need to be doing So it's no misunderstanding so I had a little dick man come to the house, and <laughs> ladies, y'all know it's little when they be giving them quick rabbit pumps. B B B B B B B. Don't nobody fuck longer than a little dick too. What little dick fuck for 20, 30? You be counting B B B B 20, B B B B 30, B B B B B B. Be gone like motherfucker. That boy hauled off y'all, and he asked a big dick question. That boy was like, "Damn, baby, that pussy good, but uh." Can I hit it from the back? Bitch, I'll just, according to this chart, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, what that is, you got about four or five inches. According to this chart, motherfucker, you only qualify for missionary, <laughs> motherfucker. That's one on top of the other. <laughs> if you don't know, if you need to hurry the fuck up, because I'm done, already done. After that, that boy asked another big dick question. He was like, damn, baby, um... That pussy good, but uh, I'm a little thirsty. Can you get up and get a nigga something to drink? Ooh, shit. <laughs> According to this chart, motherfucker, 
you only qualify for water, motherfucker, from the tap, motherfucker. And you got to get up and get it your motherfucking self, motherfucker. And after that, that boy asked the big dick of all big dick questions, because only big dick guys could ask this question. Look, you're getting comfortable because you know the question, whatever. <laughs> I don't like him. He's just too cocky. He like, yeah, I be fucking bitches and being disrespectful and they love me anyways. <laughs> but after that, that boy asked the big dick of all big dick questions. That boy was like, damn, baby, that pussy good, but uh, I got dropped off over here. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> And I need to know if you could take a nigga home. Oh, shit. According to this chart, motherfucker, your homeboy or Uber better be outside in five fucking minutes, bitch. And that's just the chart. That ain't me. Niggas, clap it up if you know you ain't on the chart. Clap it up if you getting some juice. You fucking doggy style. You, look, look. He like, I take the car and don't even put gas in it, bitch. What is you talking about? <laughs> she like, fuck that, you better put some gas in my shit. But y'all, I did a lot of cussing, y'all, but y'all, I actually believe in God. Where y'all at? Y'all believe in God? Where y'all at? Believe in God? <laughs> Amen. That's right. I believe in God because of my church mom. Her name was Diane Smith. Rest in peace to her, man. This lady was amazing. The way she believed her, like just the way she would believe was amazing to me. She was, she was so faithful to the point where she wasn't scared of nothing. You ever seen somebody so saved that they ain't scared of nothing? You ever seen that? So her whole thing, she used to always try to get me to come to church, right? She used to always say, if you listen to the Lord, he'll tell you when to move. That was all though. When you listen to the Lord, he'll tell you in the mood. She used to always try to tell me that shit. So one day she tried to convince me of it. She tell me, okay, come pick me up, take me out to Walmart, get me something to eat, blah, blah, blah. We get out there. I'm walking, we walking through the parking lot. A nigga jumped from behind the car with a gun pointed dead at us. That nigga was like, give it up. You know what she said? The devil is a liar. Bitch, the devil, is, I looked over at her, the devil is a liar. She was like, the devil is a liar. She said, only people scared to die is the people that don't know where they going, right? Bitch, she gonna tell the man, she said, I tell you what. The man said, if you, don't give me this, if you don't give me this purse, I'm finna kill you right now. She told the man, I tell you what, why don't we just pray on it, okay? <laughs> if God tell me to give you what's in my purse, I'm gonna give you what's in my purse because I'm faithful. Everybody bow your head so we gonna pray on it. The nigga bowed his head, bitch. So I bowed my head, bitch. After a while, I ain't hear nothing. Something told me, look up. Bitch, I looked up. Bitch, she was gone, y'all. <laughs> she had done ran and left me, y'all. Hey, when I fucked around, I got back to the car. I said, damn, why you didn't tell me to run when you ran? She said, you didn't hear God when he said run, bitch? <laughs> No, I didn't hear God when he said run. Thank you, guys. Comedian Untouchable. You can follow me on Instagram under Comedian Untouchable. Let's get it. I'm just trying to be all I can be out here, so thank me for my service. Invited her to the VIP. She with it, but she nervous. She got the same effect on me. I'm sweat like Michael Irvin. She's just the way I like my peace. Her love, she was encouraged. Nothing like them suckers in her DNA. Y'all go ahead and give it up for Untouchable. Come on, y'all can do better than that, which is slow clapping asses. <laughs> Them drinks is coming, man. Damn. Let me, woo! Let me stop. <laughs> yeah, man. Y'all been having a good time. They told me to tell y'all that again. Y'all been having a good time. Yes, yes, yes. How many of y'all daddies is in y'all life? Make some noise. That's what I'm talking about, man. Shouts out to all the fathers out there, man. Shouts out to all the fathers. Y'all make some noise, man. Y'all are very important in these kids' life. Uh, very important to in these kids' life. But one thing I have learned, though, right, is you can't fuck up as a father. Kids don't forget that shit. Now, your mama could have been a crackhead. She could have been a goddamn abusive. She could have been everything bad to you. But when your mama ready to be a fucking mother, you're going to let her be your mama. Ain't that right? Your daddy missed two birthdays. That nigga ain't shit. Nigga be blaming that nigga for their whole life. I would, if my dad was here for 16 and 17, I could have been an astronaut. <laughs> Fuck you couldn't have, nigga. You was a remedial math, you stupid motherfucker. Stupid ass nigga. 
Yeah, man, I would have been everything, nigga. I would have went to the league if, if my dad would have showed me how to play basketball. Boy, your daddy was five foot two. <laughs> Some people was better off without their daddy, though. I ain't going to lie. Shit. For real, for real. They used to lie to me and tell me my granddaddy was a crackhead that was on the corner. This nigga always gave me $2 every time I seen him, though. And I don't know where he got the $2 from. They always had blood or some shit on them. Right? Whatever, man. Rest in peace to uh, whatever that nigga name was. Linwood. <laughs> Linwood. Yeah, yeah, man. But I'm going to keep this show running, though. I'm your host, Ron the Don, or whatever. I do have a comedy special coming on the 22nd, you know, at Club Rain, the 22nd of this month. You know, so y'all look out for that. You get what I'm saying? At this time, you know what I'm saying, we finna, uh, we finna uh, bring up your headliner, the person that y'all came to see, right? Now, <laughs> let me tell you something, huh? Yeah, all right, Miss Mike Denzel Washington shit, all right. Yeah, y'all give it up for my boy Jet Wilson, right? Huh? First of all, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hmm? Yeah, I ain't ready for y'all to do all that yet. Hmm? I want y'all to all stand up, huh? Stand up, goddammit. Y'all go ahead and stand up for my boy, Jet Wilson. Hmm? Everybody stand up. I don't care if you ain't got legs. Y'all need to stand up. Hmm? Hmm? First of all, I want to give a special shout out to my boy, Jet Wilson. You know what I'm saying? He the person who brought me to Florida. He bought me a lot. Of, he bought me a lot of places, man. We've been doing comedy on the road together. That's my brother in comedy and whatever. And he chose me to host his comedy special. So y'all go ahead and clap for that first. Yeah. Now, when I call my brother to the stage, I want y'all to, to yell as loud as y'all can. Don't break the windows because we have to pay for the shit. But. Yell as loud as y'all can. I don't care if you clap, stomp your feet, but y'all show my boy Jet Wilson some love, man. You yeah, made man VA smell. It's all about you, baby. Uh, you, baby. It's all about you. Don't let nobody tell you no different. You hear me? You hear me? Look at me. Uh, what you doing, slow? City of Richmond, uh, reminiscing about the women I kissed in. Ooh. Even the ones I didn't, some were just victims. Yeah. Some of them I loved, and some ain't mean nothing. nothing. Tanya was who I put my first in. Ah. Big old button, cute as a button. Woo. She was the first yes. to quench my thirst. Uh. Soon as I got in it, in two minutes I burst. Uh. And then there was Brandy. Yeah, okay. She ain't understand. Y'all did too much for me, man. Y'all did too much. Y'all clapping for yourselves. Y'all make some noise for yourselves. Everybody in Atlanta, what's happening? Make some noise for all the comedians y'all seen that came up here and showed love. They just wanting to break the ice a little bit. I see a lot of people I know in here tonight, man. Everybody I know in here, this is dope, man. It's, it's real cool to see so many comics uh, support each other, right? With everything going on, it's dope to see some niggas like, let me go support this nigga right quick, man. So niggas don't think comedians just mad at each other. We ain't mad at each other. Unless you're in the green room. Then we'll fuck you up. This shit get crazy back there. Appreciate y'all for coming out here, man. Damn, there's a lot of folks out here too, man. This shit is impressed. I am, I, I am impressed, y'all. Clap it up for y'all selves. Bro. This is. And some of y'all been here since seven o'clock. Some of you niggas showed up at seven thirty, like a nigga to get seat. It's so hard to impress a nigga, man. Ain't this hard to impress a nigga? Makes noise if, if it's your first time ever seeing me live on stage. Okay. I just want to make sure because we record my special tonight, so I'm going to tell all the jokes I ever told my whole life. <laughs> tonight. It's so hard to impress a nigga, man. You can go to college for four years, graduate, come home. Ain't nobody going to do shit for you. Just going to be another nigga working at Walmart. <laughs> On the south side, too. You gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> fuck around and go to jail and come home. Nigga gonna have your welcome home party. <laughs> Nigga gonna put some money in your pocket. You be like, damn, I came up last time I went to jail. <laughs> I gotta go back. 
<laughs> Why does he keep going to jail? He make it 1500 every time he come home. I mean, that's a, it sounds like a good two weeks to me. <laughs> my daddy in jail. My daddy still raising me over the phone, y'all. Clap it up for my dad, man. He still raised me. We still got a real phone relationship going on. Everything sound like something to him. He be telling my boy, you sound like you getting big as hell. My daddy was on the phone the other day. He said, boy, you sound like you out there getting all the hoes. I was like, you sound like. Nigga, and is. <laughs> my daddy tried to teach my nephews how to catch over the phone the other day. It was so funny. He was like, hey, what you doing? I said, nothing. How chilling? He said, get the football, go outside. Tell your nephew, go 10 yards and cut. Throwing the ball. Man, nigga, sound like you can catch like a motherfucker. I say, hey, man, when you coming home, man? <laughs> we got time for this shit. <laughs> we got white people here tonight. We got black people. We got Spanish people. I'm my Spanish people. Make some noise. What's happening? Okay. <laughs> Taco Tuesday. <laughs> we had one white man come in here. I got nervous. I'm scared of white people, man. White people will shoot some shit up out of nowhere. You be like, what the fuck? <laughs> You at the comedy show, man. It's dope, though. It's dope to be in Atlanta. I love Atlanta, Georgia, man. Ain't nothing like a black straight man in Atlanta, Georgia. We are a hot commodity. <laughs> <laughs> we, we are the best thing going in Atlanta right now. A black straight. It's so easy to get pussy with you straight and black in Atlanta. <laughs> You must not want no pussy if you ain't get no pussy and you straight and black in Atlanta. You, <laughs> you just got to be straight. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you even got to have no real job. <laughs> you can drive for Uber in Atlanta and get some pussy. You like... Love Atlanta. I be getting hoes. I don't got no business getting in Atlanta. <laughs> like, why do you like me? I drive for Uber. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gotta have no real job in Atlanta to get some hoes. That's why I was so shocked to see so many niggas walking here without hoes tonight. I'm like, what are you doing? You haven't applied for Uber? <laughs> oh shit, let's get it, y'all. What's up, man? Let's have some fun. Y'all ready to have a good time? Say hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Let's have some fun. Fuck it, man. Let's... We here, man. It's hard to get niggas to come outside. Man, I ain't much from Atlanta, y'all. I'm from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Born and raised in Fort Lauderdale. Anybody else here? Look at my cousins. My cousins and some niggas that I met on Spirit. I fly spirit a lot, man. Niggas be talking about spirit ain't shit. Then you get on spirit and see niggas that be talking about niggas ain't shit. You be like, man, what are you doing on here? Like, every time you run to a nigga on spirit, he be trying to act like he got bigger shit going on. Well, only reason I fly on spirit is because, man, I had a delayed flight with Delta. <laughs> Yeah, man, Delta was tripping today, man. I ain't even like that shit, man. I just said, fuck it, I'm going to get on spirit. <laughs> spirit is always the last option. Spirit is like going back to your ex. You be like, you know what, fuck it, let's do it. Let's <laughs> fuck it, run it. <laughs> Extra baggage, I don't care, whatever, let's do it. <laughs> It's good to come to Atlanta, Georgia, and find out what type of comedian I am. I realize I'm a relationship comedian. Everybody makes some noise. If you're in a relationship here tonight you're with somebody, you bought somebody here, your significant other. I figure, I can tell. I, I know, 
I knew I was a relationship comedian. I can tell. I, the shit I talk about is crazy. Like, I always try to tell people that, like, if you really want to find your person, if you really want to find your person, look at their teeth. Because if a nigga can't take care of their teeth, they can't take care of you. <laughs> Niggas be with their teeth 24 hours a day. <laughs> Not once they think, maybe no, let me brush these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Let me. <laughs> we having a good time. Let me brush these motherfuckers a little bit. Let me just, you know, we hang, we hanging out. We've been drinking coffee. <laughs> How you gonna take care of me when you can't even take care of your motherfucking teeth? I used to date this girl. She had some stank ass breath, man. Her breath was stank. Oh, my God. That's the worst thing. Like, ladies be thinking we be looking for women that, like, look a certain way. Nah, nah. I'm, at the, I'm at the age. I'm looking for bitches with good hygiene. <laughs> Give me a good motherfucking hygiene ass woman. Give me a good woman that know how to brush her motherfucking teeth. When she wake up in the morning, you ain't got to suck my dick, girl, chill out. You ain't. <laughs> Brush your mother. <laughs> so date this girl that had some stink ass breath. She ain't even know it. She, I can tell niggas was just telling for her. She was just like, oh, you know, she got some money. I chill. Bitch breath was so stank, I'll never forget. I, I, everybody was like, yeah, Yo, you should, maybe you should try to like tell her to brush her teeth. I was like, yeah, I did. I started brushing my teeth every day. And it's all, all the time for no reason. It's like eight times a day. I'm just like, hey, what's this? Brushing my teeth. <laughs> she followed suit. Started brushing her teeth too. I'm like, okay, cool. Damn, this shit still ain't working. So I had a conversation with her. I was like, hey, you know what? I hate motherfuckers with stink breath. She said, me too. I said, bitch. <laughs> Talk about you. <laughs> Brush your motherfucking teeth. You got to take care of yourself in a relationship, man. If you stop taking care of yourself, everybody going to stop taking care of you. You got to take care of yourself. You got to love yourself. Whatever you was doing before I met you, keep doing. As long as you ain't fucking nobody else. But have fun, enjoy yourself. Because a lot of times in relationships, we get lost. I was, man, I got lost in a relationship. Anybody ever got lost in a relationship before you was the last person in a relationship? <laughs> it was just you? A lot of y'all don't know y'all was just that only person. That's great. <laughs> you are the only motherfucker in the relationship tonight. What camera on right now? Let me. You be the only person in the relationship. I was, man, I was the only person in this motherfucker. Just me. Me making sure she okay. And she don't give a fuck what I got. What the fuck is it? <laughs> I was dating this Haitian girl, too. She put roots on me and my side bitch. <laughs> the side bitch had the roots on her. It was crazy. How long y'all been together right here? How long, let me see, what, what, what relationships at right here? How long y'all been? Huh? <laughs> you can tell when somebody don't remember, they be like, come on. <laughs> I was a I was a bad I was a bad uh partner though in my past relationships. I was a bad partner, man. I was I was a, like a, a, a overprotective cheater. Like, I was like, it's like, hold on, you ain't finna be cheating on me too now, bitch. Just... <laughs> Ladies know, they done dated a nigga like that, be cheating the whole time, making sure you ain't cheating. Like, hold on, bitch. I was bad, boy. I was, a, I was bad in a relationship. I used to call her to make sure she ain't cheating. I'm like, hey, where you at? Oh, bitch, sound like you in the car. See, I get this shit from my daddy. That's why, fellas, we got to stay in our kids' life. <laughs> Bad at cheating, man. I never forget being out cheating and catching her cheating. 
I was like, you dirty bitch. <laughs> Nasty ass hoe, you ain't shit. It's I've been there before, fellas. I done been there before. This is just dirty. I can't believe you. You a dog ass hoe for doing that. This is, no oh, nigga, you the dog ass hoe. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's, gotta make sure you you able to uh, take what you give. You know what I'm saying. Like you gotta make sure, fellas, that because man, nowadays women they ain't, they ain't sitting up in their room thinking about you no more. They ain't doing that. They is not they is not asking who can they run to. They know. <laughs> they just getting their bread, get their head. You see how these hoes is? See y'all looking at this. <laughs> she was proud too. She was like, and leave. <laughs> it's dope. I'm a father. I'm a father. My son just turned six, y'all. Clap it up for my son. Just turned six. I got a six-year-old little dude, man. I love my son, man. My son is my is my heart, man. I, you know, yo, let me tell y'all something about kids, man. If if you really, let me tell you something about kids. If you really want to break up with your girlfriend, have a baby with her. Yeah. <laughs> that shit will end shit so fast. She be like, you know what? <laughs> Give me this baby. <laughs> I took myself to uh Put myself on child support for my kid, y'all. Clap it up for that. You got to, I went in, like, you know, I was having, if you know my story, <laughs> I was having them type of issues. I, I went to the courthouse and put myself on child support. You, you know shit bad when you tell the white man, hey, Mr. White Man, come fix this shit right quick. <laughs> Kids, man, having a kid, man. My son is my biggest hater, man. He don't. You know, never want shit to go real smooth between me and his mom. He telling her everything. My daddy got a new girlfriend. She got a big old booty. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say? <laughs> I date different with my kid, man. I, you gotta, I date. I, I gotta date up, man. I gotta date up, man. Yeah. You can't date nobody doing worse than me. Ladies, you can. <laughs> but not me. <laughs> ladies, you got to date down. You can't date up, ladies. You can't date up. Niggas been through too much by the time you meet a nigga up. <laughs> nigga been got their heart broke eight times. You meet, meet a whole new broken nigga. Ladies got to date down. Got to date the Uber driver. Got to date the nigga doing spark. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting deep tonight. <laughs> nigga said, oh, shit, I called his job out. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. That's dope. Appreciate it. There's some good energy tonight, man. Y'all real cool people here tonight. I'm glad I did this in Atlanta tonight, man. This is... I could have went to any other country ass city in the world, but I chose Atlanta. <laughs> Atlanta don't think they country, man, because y'all <laughs> y'all need a casino and a beach or something out here, like for real. Y'all I know y'all build all type of shit out here. Y'all need that though. It's, I love Atlanta. Atlanta got some of the smartest drug dealers in the world, right? The weed man. The weed man, Atlanta's so smart, man. This nigga is smart as hell. Nigga say he got three for ten or five for twenty. I said, let me get two three for tens. <laughs> That's a math joke. You'll catch it when you get in the car. That's all right. Some of y'all niggas from Alabama, I can tell. It's... Ain't nobody from Atlanta ever from Atlanta. Make some notes if you're born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia. You was born at Grady. P my okay, okay. Yeah. Nigga, too proud, like he delivered himself. It's like, woo! Where's y'all niggas from? Is Detroit in the house tonight? Detroit, Detroit, Detroit. No, Detroit. Okay, okay, Detroit. Okay. Memphis, Memphis in the building, Memphis. Okay. 
Texas, Texas. I'm, sir in the suit, where are you from with this suit on? Yeah, Mr. Reading Rainbow. DC in the building, DC. Okay. I like this, man. My man's over here on a date with his lady over. This y'all first date? Oh, y'all yeah, been dating for a long time. Ten years? Damn, that's a long time not to be cheating on somebody. <laughs> Can't imagine doing ten years. <laughs> I was so traumatized by relationships, man. That shit started sounding like a sentence. Y'all been together for eight? You did eight years? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Traumatized by relationships, man. Just, she was traumatizing, man. I did meet somebody new. Clap it up for that. And I did meet somebody. She's a very. I know I like her. Ladies always think like niggas just be out here just fucking anything. Like, no, we don't. <laughs> we have. <laughs> we have, um, we have, a, you know, a choice. Like, and we don't. We don't. No, for real, I, I promise you. Like, first of all, let, let me tell you something, ladies. Especially if you get money, like rich women, like we don't cheat on no. You'll be dumb as hell to cheat on a rich black woman, right? Like, you'll be stupid as hell. I would never cheat on my rich black woman. It's the brokos that we cheat on. <laughs> <laughs> what you bring it to the table? Barbecue or mildew? Nah, rich, rich black women, though, we don't even want, like, we ain't even got to fuck all the time. Like, you get money, like, come on, girl, you can just relax. <laughs> we had a long day today. Go ahead, chill. You good? You ain't got to suck no dick. No, why would you want to suck some dick? You just got to work. You just... <laughs> Broke hoes got to fuck all the time. <laughs> <laughs> every time. <laughs> Bitch, you gonna, you gonna get it every time. <laughs> Gotta pay for something. I don't give a fuck what's going on. Yeah, I'm sorry about your sister, but you know what? Yeah. <laughs> your cousin shouldn't, they should never been over there. You're right. It's crazy. It is crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> Gotta suck some dick when you broke, ladies. <laughs> gotta suck some. Nobody sitting around here just. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I like those type of laughs. Y'all like, oh! Every woman that been broke before I had to suck some dick. That's why, you know, you gotta suck some dick. Like, you ain't, and they ain't even got a lot of money, but I know he ain't for to be over here just not sucking no dick and they have no money either, too. Like, we, you know, you, thank you, white lady. Just saying, I suck some dick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. It caught on my eye. She was like, you know what? Fuck it. That's it? <laughs> this has been a dope ass night, man, for real, man. This has been a real dope, man. I like this, man. This is real cool. This is real cool. Appreciate y'all for laughing, man. Y'all are y'all are really dope crowd, man. I, I um I always like to bring other comedians up before I do my show. Just to show everybody some love. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't gonna never get no hour out of me, man. Ain't got no time to be talking to y'all like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all don't give a fuck that much. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wish y'all did. <laughs> but niggas' attention span is crazy nowadays. It's, that's why I appreciate y'all for coming out here. You know what I mean? Because I, 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 don't, I don't do no skits. I don't do no funny videos. I don't do no viral shit. I got real followers that, that I done met, like I said, on flights before. And they out here tonight. And I appreciate y'all, too. You know what I'm saying? Y'all real dope. That's what's up. I work at the gym. So my gym friends are here tonight, too, so we can break some shit up, some break some fight-ups. We ain't have to have hire no security. <laughs> yep. 
It's real dope. My name is Jet Wilson, y'all. Enjoy the rest of y'all night, man. We're going we gonna to stop right there, y'all. Yo, appreciate y'all, man. Much love to y'all. <laughs>